Tonight, we've learned President Obama is ready to make good on a key campaign pledge. On Monday, he will overturn the Bush administration's controversial ban on federal funding for embryonic stem cell research. The Bush policy is hailed by social conservatives who oppose the destruction of human embryos, but advocates for patients with diseases like Parkinson's have been protesting the ban for years, among them actor Michael J. Fox. He has Parkinson's and has set up his own multi-million dollar foundation for Parkinson's research. He spoke to Anderson Cooper in 2006 about the stem cell battle. I have this one message and, 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 it's, and it's, it's, it's bipartisan and it's nonpartisan and it's just about hope. It's just about giving hope a chance. I, I, I'm just really, um, really concerned if we, if we close doors. Because we, because we think that our scientists aren't ethical enough to, 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 to proceed down this path in a way that we as a country would approve of. I think that, you know, we, we, um, the, the, the strictest ethical guidelines are in place. Um, it, 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 you know, but if we don't lead in this, another country is going to. And they're not going to, you know, we're not going to have the ethical oversight. And it's going to happen. So we should do it. We asked viewers to, to send in some emails, some questions. Jacob in, in Dallas, Texas asked, why should an innocent unborn child die so that tests and experiments may be run in an effort to possibly save others? How do we value one life over another? Um, there is a, 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 there's a, uh, something that is in place now, which is the, the destruction of thousands of these cells. It, it, it's happening, it has been happening for 20 years. These um, cells are being thrown out. They're being thrown out, they're being wasted purely wasted so and, and even with programs like uh, adoption uh, you know it's it's not it's not gonna it's not gonna put a dent in it they're gonna be destroyed and they continue to be destroyed Michael J. Fox puts a face on the debate, and he's a powerful advocate for stem cell research, but it still remains tremendously controversial. For some perspective on the battle over stem cells, CNN uh, chief medical correspondent, Dr. Sanjay Gupta, is joining us right now. And uh, Sanjay, l let's walk people through this. There are different sure. kinds of stem cells. Explain to people what's so controversial about what the president is going to announce on well, Monday. You know, when you talk about embryonic stem cells, the thing that is so controversial is in order to get these cells, you have to destroy embryos. That's a simple uh, way that you can put it. And uh, that, that has uh, led to controversy that has extended many, many years. But your point is a good one. When you say stem cells sort of as an umbrella term, you are referring to several different types of cells. Adult stem cells are not controversial. You take those from adults, you can take them from their bone marrow, their liver, uh, their blood. There's also something known as IPS, induced pluripotent cells. You don't need to remember the name, but remember this. You can take normal skin cells and expose them to certain viruses that almost make those skin cells revert backwards into embryonic stem cells. Those are also not controversial. But this idea of creating federal funding for embryonic stem cell research is something people have been talking about for some time. We're hearing, like you are, there's going to be a reversal of the existing policies on that very issue on Monday. And explain to us why medical researchers are so excited about stem cell research and what they hope to, uh, to accomplish ultimately. If you take an embryonic stem cell, it is a what's called a pluripotent cell, a cell that can grow into just about anything. And what, what's exciting about that is so many diseases simply need new cells. Parkinson's disease, diabetes. As for, after someone has had a heart attack, heart cells die. Could you somehow replace those heart cells? That's where the exciting part starts to come in. If you can take these embryonic stem cells, put them in the areas of the body that need those replacement cells, maybe you could start to see improvements in these chronic diseases for which we really have no cures as of right now. But, but people hear you say, you know, possible cure for things like Parkinson's or diabetes, and, and realistically, I mean, how far off are we talking about before we would see a real breakthrough on that front? Yeah, you know, that's a really good question. I can, and I'll tell you, as a scientist, as a, as a doctor, you know, that's a bit of a moving target. And what I mean by that is that we've had such a period of time now without, uh, with, with only limited federal funding for stem cell research, when federal funding starts again, it, you may not see sort of linear improvements. You may see exponential improvements because so much of science sort of builds on itself. So it could start to happen very quickly is what I'm saying. But it's also worth pointing out, Campbell, that it was only in January of this year that we had the first approved clinical trial using embryonic stem cells. And that's uh, looking at spinal cord injured patients. They're recruiting patients this summer. We've talked to those doctors. We've talked to those scientists. I think it's be several years still, maybe three or four 
four years before we start to see the results. So it's a, a ways off, but it may start to, to build quickly with these additional federal dollars. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, our chief medical correspondent, uh, many, many thanks and glad thanks, you're Campbell. sticking around, Sanjay. Glad to be with you, Campbell. Thanks. All right.